Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Welcome for the SolidWorks motion tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to briefly show you what are some of the tips or what are some of the options we can use to create good animations and motions inside an assembly. <clears throat> if you want to create this robot, um, so I call this robotic fan assembly, robotic car with fan. So if you want to build this one, the tutorial is already available on YouTube on how to build this uh, type of robot. The tutorial goes into detail on how you can build the tires, fan and everything. One important thing before we start the motion tutorial is to make sure the how the mates are joined. It is very important to make sure that your mates are correctly joined so you can move accordingly. So if you can see this one is moving like this and this cylinder here is going like this and the fan is able to rotate. The same for the wheels, I can move them and this one I can rotate them. So you need to make sure the mates are correct. Again, if you want to know how to give these mates properly, um, check out the tutorial for how to build this robotic um, car assembly. Okay. So here I'm going to just show you how the motion uh, options work. In this case, I have already one motion study, but I'll, if you want to start just on the bottom side here, after you have made all the assembly, right click on this and click on create new motion study click on this one and here i'll just explain expand my options from the right arrow here just click on this and here in the motion study we have here the timeline of the video it is just like a normal video editing software you have a timeline on how you you want your animation to work and likewise we will give the options one by one and see if we can move uh, through uh, the, the, the robotic assembly. So let me zoom in to my uh, car assembly. And then let me show you, there's many ways to define any motion. So the first one I want to show you is by dragging the mouse and moving. So what you can do is I will just roughly put my uh, click on two second button here and try to move this piston here slowly. So I'll just click it and move it outside okay uh, let me move it fully outside and then just leave it and you can see from the piston there is a green line which is reaching to two seconds here this blue thing is called key right now the auto key option is on so everything you move it will be auto keyed so there will be auto key created for that if you want to make the keys manually you can do it by clicking this button so let me turn off the auto key and then let's move something it, it, it back now I want the video to move from two seconds to four seconds so let me click here and what will happen from two to four seconds this will go back slowly so I will move it back and then after moving I will click on this button called add key because the auto key is off add key and now I have going up and going back motion in four seconds now if you want to check how is it going to play, you have to click on this button called Calculate because now we make some movements, we need to click on Calculate. Click Calculate and the software will try to see what happened. Once the software is happy, just click on Play button to see which, how, which, uh, how, which motion did you made. So you click on Play button and you can see the piston is going out and then inside. Okay, let me zoom in and play. The piston is moving out and then it's moving inside in four seconds. Now you can, it's like editing your or creating pictures and uh, photos and it's like creating and editing a video. So you can, uh, it is totally up to you how much time do you want this piston to go out and go in and how you define the motion. So this is the manual way of dragging and moving the items. Okay. Now, how to give an automatic rotatory motion? So, of course, yes, if I move this tire, it will also give it, this tire a rotatory motion. But how to give it automatically? So, if you want to do that, uh, let's try to move this tire. So, remember, my auto key is off, so I can play and then define the motion. If you want to move this one tire, click on the tire. And then here I have many options. I want you to check them. The first one here is motor. This is spring to simulate a spring motion and this is contact and this is gravity. 
So let me define a motor and see if it is moving with the tire. So click on this motor option and it asks you which component direction you want it to be motor. So I'll click on this component and it automatically gets this direction arrow to move it this way. If you want to change the direction, just click this option and it will rotate on the other hand. Okay. Now that's all. If you want to move it with a constant speed of 100 rotations per minute, in this case, let me make it uh, 10 rotations per minute. And here I have, there's two types of motor you can define, rotary motor and linear motor. It's totally up to you. Linear motor is going straight and back. Rotary is repeating its constant rotatory motion. So just click on rotary motion and click OK. You can see the software picked that from 0 to 4 seconds, my I have a rotary motor motion which is here. If you want to check, let's click on calculate button again. The software is trying to calculate what changes we did. And then you can simply click on play button to check. Okay. Uh, there is some issue here. But ideally, this motor should work also with this. So let me try. Yeah. It is trying to move, but maybe because of the screen recording is not displaying. But yes, this is how you give the rotary motion. Now, the third one which I want to give you option is um, the linear motor. So for the linear motor, let me create a new motion study. Create a new motion study. So now right, I right click on this one and click on create new motion study. And here, I'm going to show you the linear motor by showing it on this piston. So click on motor, choose the component, which is this piston. It is taking the rotatory motion, which we don't want. We want a linear motor. So click on linear motor option. So if the direction is correct, this is the way you want the motion to move. You, you can say, how much do you want it to move? 10 centimeter per second is the speed. So you can change based on how you want it. And lower down you have many other options also, but let's keep it 10 centimeter per second and check. It is very slow. Um, uh, it is very fast. So let me just make it 1 centimeter per second and click OK. And then you can see it has taken it to 4 seconds. Let's see by calculate, clicking on the calculate button. If I click on calculate button, you can see it has moved very small amount because we reduced the speed. So if you click on play, the piston is slowly moving outwards. Okay, this is the linear motor motion. Now, in the same sense, let me show you again one more time the rotary motion by putting the rotary motion on this fan hub. And let's see how it moves. So click on the motor again, choose the component which is this. And uh, in this case, it's 100 RPM. So let me just, for showing, demonstrating, click OK and it is let's see, click on calculate you can see the fan is will rotate in this way so that's how you give the rotary motion as well as linear motion as you like it okay there is several other options i want you to explore there is many ways you can add lights you can add different camera functions camera views and and many things in in addition to animation you can also do a basic motion study where you can see how the kinematics and mechanics of how things will interact with each other. So I want you to work on this SOLIDWORKS motion and explore it more on your own. And of course, by you will learn more by only trial and error. I have already included the parts file for this robotic assembly and also tutorial to how to assemble it together. Please follow the tutorial in order to have more guidance on how to create this part and then you can play around and generate as many videos as you like. The last step is how to save it a video. You can click on this button which is called save animation and then the software will ask you to choose it in AVI format and then if you are happy with the aspect ratio you can just click on save and it will generate a video. It will take some time to develop the video because it's rendering, software rendering, and it will take a lot of time and generate a big video for you. If it is not working correctly, just take a screen video or screen recording of this playing option which you are, uh, which you have developed in the SOLIDWORKS motion.
Thank you and wish you all the best.